welcome to just vibe with vibes welcome let's talk about love Island in that episode okay the episode started off with um a lot of things but then molly and tom was talking a bit about cars because um, molly is close to the cars obviously this show us they showed us a little bit during um on saturdays during the unseen beats but they didn't show us show us how close that they were even some people were surprised that Callum and how were hugging a lot because they were quite close but anyway long story short money and tom are closed off now they already know it but then they're just saying it according to them did the s and um Callum had the chat <laughs> and then Callum is like i was done the day after the recoupling but my guy wants to explain, you know, after he made that grand, that big gesture, you know, I didn't mean it. The guy said he's on already. What are, What is the reason for this conversation? What is the reason? Why are you still having... He said he's done. He is done. My girl still wants to explain. Like, I think somehow she's just been delusional or she still wants him to somehow be still into her. He is done. He said he was done. He is done. And he was like... He wishes both of you well. And like, God, oh, this is the fourth time you're saying this. She's just trying to pick something to make it seem like uh, he's, he's, he's bitter or he like you know, in, like he's not happy about the fact that she's chosen Toby. No, he left you alone so that you can choose Toby. We all know you were going to choose Toby, but my guy was done since. And that is the truth. He doesn't have to, you know, sometimes you show, when, when someone shows you who they are, you have to believe them. And he's believed you. And that's that. And then she tried to say that in the hideaway, way, her, everything she said was genuine. Girl except you're out of mind out of sight so it's like anybody you're with that person then that's the only thing you can tell me if not how can it be genuine when you just wanted to get on with tom you came back immediately you went back to tom like honestly it can't be genuine you never really liked the guy let's be honest and then joanna having the whole chat with arabella telling her that um she doesn't like chris jokes too much and now she doesn't like his speech was not that serious i feel i like his speech so i'm surprised about how it's going but then she said that i think i don't know if i even heard her well she said that whenever she passes him he twerks he sticks his ass out and twerks when she passes out. <laughs> that will give me the ick too but i feel like uh, him and what's this girl's name oh, oh my god i forgot her name the one that people say that she talks like she's uh doing an interview they would have been so good knowing that she used to do that thing with dami and india's time yeah What's her name? God, she would have been so good with him. Like, honestly, he and her would have been good. So, she would have been talking like that. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I remember her name. I can't even, I, I know her name. I follow her on social media. But, honestly, at this particular moment, I can't think of her name. But they would have been so good. That's what I thought about. And then, Toby and Chris Bromance. Remember, they were lying down. And Sophie noticed that Joanna was pulling Chris for a child. Remember when she had the chats with Georgia H. And the manager that H advised her to have you spoken to Chris first. You're supposed to speak to Chris first, but no, she didn't speak to Chris first. She still went to speak to Callum. Callum even asked her, have you spoken to Chris? And she said, no, I haven't yet. But he said, of course, he's interested. Why would he not be interested? Like, he's stuck with this girl. That according to him, he said, oh, you look um better. Oh, you're looking more pretty. And she said, oh, you look the same. Nah, he, well, that was a polite way of saying that plastic surgery is making you look good. Like, there's a glow up happening there due to your plastic surgery. But it's good. But I don't know, both of them, the twin, they don't really look alike that much. They look alike a little bit. But I feel like sometimes when you do work, one person's one, like one, or, one person on the lip is a bit more pronounced than the other one. You know what I mean? Because they are doing work, so the doctors are not just going to get it the same. So something is going to give. Anyway, yeah, so that was it. And Joe and Arabella had a chat. Joe is not into Arabella. I feel like he just... He knew that if he chose Arabella, he has to be with her to the end because the girl has been had broken twice. He cannot be the third person now, seriously. He has to just stick it out now because that is like putting yourself in a cage. He has to stick it out. But my guy is so happy and all of that sounded the kids where you can tell that he was giving the speech. He's like, oh, the speech, he confused me because he's like, oh, we talk. He made me like, it's like, but we didn't talk that day. Girl, he was not confused. He decided to change his mind last minute because if Molly is that much into Tom... Then at the end of the day, they will not go up, get back together. Then he would just be left single. So that would put him in a, in a disadvantaged position. So he did what was best game-wise. And honestly, Joe has glowed up. Yeah, he looks better than he did his season. So that's a good thing. Okay. So now, um, Arabella and Kelsey, the morning, they were talking about the keys. Like, uh, Arabella had the keys. And uh, Kelsey also had the keys with... Uh, it's not... 
is with eve i think it's eve he's with so he had a kiss about that and um anton planning picnic for georgia h and all of that stuff like it's all she keeps saying that nobody has treated her this way and i keep thinking girl who have you been dating because now people say nobody has given me nobody has done this like it's the bare minimum that she's acting like it's so big i'm not saying that anton now is doing is doing very well and like he's always there for her and him planning the picnic all those things are sweet but the way she says that nobody nobody and i'm looking at what he's doing like how do a guy tell you that they're interested in you is it not by doing all this stuff already like yeah people i, I think i might be in a relationship that maybe didn't work at the end but he was still like how has nobody done nothing for you like nobody has treated me like this nobody like girl what have you been doing what pond have you been fishing for this man because he's giving me not good at all anyway i need to even talk about something later sophie told uh chris that and uh, joanna was talking to and uh, callum i think it was her they only showed her voice they should only show the voice the voice they, we only heard the voice when i did not show the voice but it sounded like sophie like or was it a producer i don't think how the producer do it could be a producer maybe i don't know but but why did not show the person? They could have shown Sophie. It was Sophie. It could have been a producer, but it sounded somehow like Sophie. But I'm not sure 100%. Craig David killed his performance and then Wes came out. Surprised if I remember Wes and Arabella said dating after her Love Island thing did not work with, um, what was that guy's name? Danny or something like that. Anyway, long story short, I started thinking, in this life, and this is my advice, I said, girl, do not date from the same circle over and over again. Arabella, at this moment, has dated more than six people from the same circle. It cannot be. Yes, relationships sometimes don't work, and I'm not judging her based on, like, who she's dated, because she's had something with Toby. She's had something with the people that are in there. She's had something with Toby. She's had something with Tom, then Wes, then Danny, then, uh, who else? Honestly, I don't know, but I think she must have had something with... Wait. I can't think probably but maybe she's, she must have something with about oh she's had something with Joe too. When Joe came here, Joe. So it's like five that I can think of right now. So you cannot be dating the same people from the same circle over and over again. You can't do that. Like for yourself and for your own sake. If you date one person from your immediate circle and he doesn't work, don't date another person again except this marriage. Literally. Do not. Like look for other places. There are other places you can date people. Look for somewhere else to date people. You cannot date people from the same circle. Like that same love island. Like all of them that just like Georgia H2. She's one of those kind of people. And Georgia S. They just keep on dating the same people. The same people from the same circle. Nah. Nah man. No. One person. Like at now Chloe has dated one. And that one is that one. Once they go and date an actor. Date somebody else. Don't date the same people from the same circle. It's so weird that only you, like, she was even scared for him coming into the villa. Imagine, like, they just bring six of your ass into the villa. Seriously. Like, Kaz was on Love Island. She's only dated that tie. And she's had other relationship after then. Date people outside. There are other people. Successful people that have nothing to do with Love Island. Don't be dating the same people. It doesn't tell good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't even bring respect, honestly. Like, honestly, I, do, I don't think it's even a good thing on them for them to be doing that. Like, so you guys go on, you go on an event with your guy and then six other guys there have been with you? No. Nah. Anyway, uh, that's, uh, maybe I'm judging, but that's how I feel about it. I don't think it's wise for you to date the same people from the same circle. Look for someone else from a different circle. Like, you can date 100 men, I don't care. But what I'm saying is that just date 100 men from different circles. You know, I mean, not, or even if you can even date 20 from one circle that is a different place that don't have nothing to do with you. As long as it's not coming back to you, you don't shit where you eat. So if you're on Love Island, you're going to hang out with those people, influencers and all of that stuff. Then try not to date influencer, 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 influencer. You know what I mean? Like this maybe one influencer and then date businessmen, movie stars, whatever the case is. Do not date another influencer. You know what I mean? Like that place where you're eating. Do not shit there. That's what I'm saying. So after the whole Craig David performance, um, Anton decided to give that hospital. I was so scared that he was going to ask her to be his girlfriend. Good thing he didn't. And then uh, Joanna finally decided to put Chris up for a chat. And then she's more for, she said, oh, um, Callum is uh, happy to get to know her. Like, why did you start it like that? You were interested in him. You went to put him for a chat. And he said he's open to having a chat with you and seeing how that how things go. Why did you not say it like that? Like, honestly, I feel like she represented Callum wrongly. 
Also, him saying that he does not like the fact we told me that he doesn't like the fact that Arabella and her they are talking. Arabella does not like Chris. Arabella wanted Chris to go just because of that. So we all know that she can hold a grudge. So I don't understand why everybody's acting up too now because you guys don't like Chris anymore. Let's be honest. Call it spade a spade. She talking to Arabella. Arabella has never advised her like, "Are you sure you're not doing this? Give it a chance." She's always like, "Oh yeah." Then that means he's wrong. It, it doesn't mean that Arabella is putting worse into her mind. Obviously, she feels the way she's already having an ick. Yes, but then she's not advising her that, "Hey." Try and see. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not just doing this or that? Like she's just on the. If you're not feeling it, then leave it because she doesn't actually like him, and that's the truth. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye bye.